hello everyone welcome back to my channel twisted paper studio how are you i hope you're well thank you for joining me today we're gonna continue with this mass making of these little tiny scrappy booklets um my paper pleasers <laughs> whatever you want to call them maybe you guys can suggest a name for me to give them um scrappy booklets ephemera scrap uh, ephemera scrappies ephemera Sometimes I usually come up with something, but I haven't been able to. Um, ephemera, waterfalls, ephemera cascades, I don't know. But anyway, we are going to decorate them today. So I'll quickly give out my blessings and then we'll get started. Blessings to Deb Zare, L Lorette Chandler, Candice Estrada, and Wimsey Cottage. Blessings to you ladies. Thank you so much for commenting on my channel and saying such lovely sweet things that they really are um, very encouraging and they warm my heart very much. I, I'm, I'm very grateful to everyone actually who comments on my channel. So thank you. All right, so let's get started. I have these little paper, you know, they're like waterfall um, collage, I guess, because I made them so that they cascade and you can see them on the sides. I do have videos that I've been doing for the past few days now. Um, because Miss Junk Journaling Jen suggested that I do a video. So thank you, Jen. <laughs> um, I did some more. I do have my timer started. I did some more with the stuff that was left on my desk. The more, the more stuff I ripped it up and things like that. And I just... Um, put them in a paper clip, some I stapled together. I did one out of that long, that long um, file card. I just embossed it and then I added some longer papers on it. I thought that came out cute. Um, I did, I did one out of the, um, the printer messed up when I was printing these um, old document style covers that are out now. I, I don't know who's I don't know whose kit this belongs to. I, I'm not sure I'd have to look. Um, but I know Sharon Hearth has um, kits with these document style covers. And so do I. I have some kits in my shop too. But they're not the pink one. I think I think I have a different color. I have like a checkered one. And I did this one. Um, why is this spell, this spell out somewhere? I don't know where. Okay, let's put it right here. We'll just put it there. I did this one. I did this one. This one. They're just so cute and they're so much fun. I did this one. And this one, but I'm not leaving that that way. I'm turning it. I did some little scraps in it. I'm going to turn it this way and then attach it on there. So... We, we might not get to all of these. Um, I am going to stop after today, but I will I will pick up again on Monday. Um, it's a lot for me to go in and out to town. So what I think I'm going to do is just um, try to accumulate a few videos to go into town with. This way I'm not running back and forth every day. So I think I'm going to video this weekend and get some videos in my um in my bank um i did some stencil paste on some ledger paper i also did it on the that pink flooring paper you can, you can buy that at lowe's um i painted on a paper bag and did some stenciling on there i may use these i may not i did stenciling on book page um, I just kind of did a stockpile so I could have some in my work. And then I also did some on Ripped Book Page. I don't know what this is. I did some stun. Oh, uh, no. I did painting. I painted. So I did the embossing on the paper. And then I just took my brush and painted over the top. I don't know if I'm going to use them. They were in my scraps. So I was just playing around. So I have those on the side. Not sure if I'm using them or not. Um, these are the past makes. What started it all. So I'll put those up here. Okay. So I have some fabrics. 
I really have them all in muted tones and I picked out some pinks and some blues, of course, and some French laundry tags. Um, mostly in French colors, mostly muted, just to like keep this in one area of decorating. If I want to um, add something from to a journal, like uh, 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 at a later date, not for you guys now, I'm gonna decorate them with you, but at a later date, I would leave them plain, completely plain, just like this, and then I would just make a stockpile of them. When I was going to do a journal, I would maybe decorate them a little bit, kind of put something on them to match the theme of the journal. So I would suggest that to you guys. Okay, so I printed, I, <laughs> I stamped on some fabric, just some numbers in blue. Um, I still have those stamped on tissue uh, pattern paper. I cut out some stamps that I had, and I do have some of them in my shop. These ones, I believe they're in my um, French letter kit. And I just cut out some small things. I have these little pictures of little children. They are in my um, kit for the cabinet cards. I have some more stamps. Um, and then I have some little flowers that I printed out. These are in my kit for the um, uh, antique. I believe they're antique flowers or botanical or antique botanical. So I printed these out and what I did was I just um, used my uh, printer to select it to make it, I think it was going to print out wallet sizes or even like a 3 by 5 size and I just put 4 to the page so it printed them out smaller. That's how I got them. I stamped on some onion skin paper and I have some scraps over here. So, oh. I also have some little chiffon ribbon um, to use and, of course, my fabrics. And I have string. Um, I have these brads. I have these little pins here and safety pins. These are rusted uh, paper clips and safety pins and then little stuff. So just... If you want to put the camera on pause right now so you can go get some of these items that I aforementioned, be my guest because we're going to start decorating now. <laughs> okay, so let's bring some of these over here and let's see what we're going to do. Um, I actually like the clip on there, so I think I'm just going to derive a way to attach some more stuff to make it look pretty. That's really it. And again, you, you can you can decorate, you know, in your style, in your way, and adapt this to anything that you do. This is I'm just giving you inspiration. I hope it's working. I've been hearing I've been hearing from everyone that it is, which I'm super glad. Um, I have this pink ticking here. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but we're going to see. We're going to see. So the trick to using some images to, um, or using some things, the trick for me, I'm trying to share this with you, and I'm getting, I'm getting tongue-tied. Okay, so the trick for decorating, just like I did with the paper, in layering, it's the same way for decorating. You can layer your decorations also the same type of way, or you don't have to. But see, see like here, this is pink. So yeah, it looks nice on there like that. I could glue it on there like that. But to layer it with maybe the fabric instead of just it being, just it being the paper would would be more, um, how would you say? It would pop more for the eye. So let's let's see how, I mean, it may not work. It may not, but let's see what happens when we do that. I'm just gonna clean it up so that I can get it to stick out a little bit. And see, 
I like that. So I think we're going to go with that. I'm just going to make it just a tiny bit smaller so that the fabric's all around it. I like that. All right. So let's, what I'll do now is, um, let me see. I'll glue on the back of here. I'm moving this over here. I hope I have enough time today to share with you how I do things. I mean, huh, it's not the last time you're ever going to see me. <laughs> and I just mean in this, doing it this way. But I work like this for everything, big or small. So now, I'm having doubts, but not with the design. I'm just having doubts on this one. Let me see if it looks better on a on this one a different a different size um, let me rip that okay there we go and let's see yeah I'm liking that I like it on this one rather than this one it's too it's too short I think but but you may like it you may like it I don't <laughs> so I'm going to bring it over here. So we'll come back to this one. Or we can even, oh, how about a picture? I like a picture on there. Let's see, I have some polka dot, polka dot fabric. Let's try that with a black and white picture. And you don't have to set anything, you know. See, I put it down and, and I didn't set it yet. That's okay. You don't have to do it just yet. You can, you can move off and and look at something else um then it's not so permanent and you know we're always changing our mind even if you guys fall in love with it uh, i could possibly change it i'm liking the black and white on there i think let me see do i have a picture but no white on it no Maybe even a letter. No, I like the picture. Okay, so let me let me trim this around with to get the white off. I left the white on, but you don't have to. You can if you use pictures. If you use these pictures, you absolutely can. And then this is just printed out on linen paper. But you can print it out on, oh yeah, I like that. You can print it out on, um, what do you call it? <clears throat> Picture paper, too. And this is a piece of real ephemera. This is, uh, this document is very old. I, I, I want to say it's from the uh, 1800s, 1700s, maybe, I don't know. Oh, I like that right on there like that. All right, let's, let's stick with that because I like it very much. So I'm going to use my fabric hat. I'm going to put this down on the polka dot. I'm going to put this down on the front of the picture. How we had it. And then, let's see. I think I'm going to, I think what I'll do is, hmm, what will I do? Uh, <laughs> I can't help it. Let me glue this on here. I'm liking it, so I'm going to stick it. Um, oh, how about this at the bottom? See, I took this off a check. And I just like the, the font. Maybe we can put that right behind there like that. Keep that in the paper clip take the paper clip off so I can readjust things and then someone else can use these if they get them in their journal they can use them in their work these little pieces for collage okay I'm going to keep this just like it is
there we go. So that's one in pink. I might even do more, something more on it. I don't know. No, not right now. Oh, yep. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> I'm like taking a little piece of paper that I have with some uh, French writing. There we go. That's That one's done. How we doing? <laughs> okay. Now, I wanted this one. And let me bring this back over to this one. I want to... I think I want to do this one. Yeah, I'm going to take this off. We'll attach that after. I think what I'm going to do is staple it first so I can have a good play with it. So it's in place. And now I'm going to um, put little holes in it. Get the hole punching tool. I'm going to use the... I want to use the big side or the little side. Maybe we'll just use the... No, we'll use the big side. Whatever. We'll just do it. Let me do it from this side so I can see. To get it kind of even. Because I can't really see on the front. Okay. And now... I'll use a piece of this. I'm going to bring it through the back. Or you can use butcher's twine too. Or or just regular um, twine. This is not going through. There we go. And... I should have used my fabric scissors. Yeah, so when you get this stuff, just be prepared to make these for a few days so you can stock up on them, you know? Oh, my hands. Come on now. Okay, so we have coming through the front and I'm just going to tie a bow. And you can do whatever you want. You could let it dangle. I'm going to tie a bow. Like that. I got to fix it to make it look pretty. <clears throat> this chiffon is hard to work with. Sometimes. Whoops. Come on, don't come out. Okay, I think I'll leave it like that off to the side. Now I'm, I'll put, now this was up here, so now I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm just going to, should I attach it with a staple? Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just attach it so it doesn't have to be permanent. I'll attach it with a staple to the ledger paper. Like that. And there we go. That's that's another one. That's how I would decorate it. That's two. And let's see. Now we have this one. Um, this has a lot of red in it. Let's put this down. Because we, we brought the red in it here. So... Um, trying to think unless I just put it up here no then it's messing with my whole collage oh maybe I'll do that no do I want to do that at the bottom you know it takes you it takes a minute to it takes a minute to um to figure it out <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't just happen for me. I mean, sometimes it does, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I got to really work at it. Um, let's see. Piece of this. I'm liking that. Let me cut that. And let me put 
put that down on the tissue paper. And then cut this around there. I like that. I think I'm just gonna glue that on just like that. And I did like this on here. Um, but we can even, we can even add onto it. How about we add some fabric? Not that. How about we add some fabric? Oh, we could add that piece of fabric right there. And then, what else do I have? I had, I'm just trying to look for my little thing with my, hold on, I'm coming. I'm not, I didn't mean, be very far. I'm looking for, I had another one of these little things. I don't know where it went. With, oh, with like buttons and things on it. Where'd it go? I'm still in disarray. I cleaned up my floor though. That's good. That's good. Oh. I found it, but I don't see the buttons. Huh. Where did they go? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Here they are. How about a pearl? No. Diamondy? No. Okay, it didn't even work out what I wanted. Oh, how about a safety pin? Um, let me see. We have a piece of fabric there. No. Okay. We're just going to see about putting a safety pin through the paper and on the fabric if it looks good. I imagine it might. I think I might like it at the bottom better. Let's try. So, so I'm just going to take this at the bottom. No. So maybe this isn't the right piece because it looks too much. How about a brad? Maybe we'll just staple it and get it, call it a day. <laughs> we'll put a piece of paper there. Um, this is a piece of embossed paper. And then this has writing on it. Well, maybe we'll put the writing at the bottom. Okay, let's staple it on there. I put this, the embossed paper underneath. Just staple them both together. It didn't exactly do what I wanted it to, but that's okay. I'm going to clip this off. It moved when I stapled it. No, no I don't like it on there. I'll just rip it. <laughs> we'll just take it off there. Okay, now, I like this little word here. I'm going to put it at the bottom. I'm going to put it right down here at the bottom. I'm leaving my glue down on its side because this way I don't have to wait for it to come up all the time. Okay. I like that one. It's not my favorite, but I like it. All right. Now we'll bring on to the next one. Okay. Hmm. Let's use some string on this one and maybe a flower. 
me see what else I have here. Or a piece of, no, I never use that stuff. How about a piece of, well, this is very layery. You need one with more bigger pages on the front. It's got too many layers. So let's just put a pretty bow on it. I'll staple it all together. Uh, yeah, I'm going to staple it and I'll do that. Oh, look, it's the same card. It, it must, it must require this look. <laughs> okay. And we'll use blue this time. Oh, we could even use this. Let me see. I like the big puffy bow, though. Who doesn't? I, well, you might not. I do. I do like it. The music paper ripped off, but that's okay. We'll close it with the ribbon. And again, the papers are fragile. They're, you know, they're old. That you're using up your book pages. And we all know this. Every one of us who works with this paper knows that this paper is fragile. Okay. Let's see if we can get a ribbon out of this. I think we did. Okay. I like that. That's cute. But now we need to bring some of that blue down. Um, how about we attach that somehow? How would we do that? Um, what if we just... I like it at the bottom. What if we just poked a hole in here and attached it that way? Maybe we can. Let's see. Okay, let's try. It's like a key ring, you guys. So... I'm just gonna put it on here. If it doesn't work, I'll put on a string. I'll put it on a string. It did work, but it's backwards. Sugar. Instead of taking the ring off the paper, I'm just gonna take this off and turn it around. There we go. I like that, that's cute. All right, so now we have three. Three. What else? Let me take this one. I'm starting to get messy. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see, let's put a stamp on it. We want blue stamp. We will have a blue one. Whoops. Everything's falling. And I think I liked it down here. I'm going to put a stamp down. There. That gives it a pop of color. And then maybe we will um, sew this one with the hemp. We can do that. Um, let's decorate it some more though. What else? Oh, how about, how about this number? And a piece of 
always good for the piece of chicken. Chicken is always fun. If I, if I can find it. I like that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna staple it right on the piece of ticking, and then attach it like that. And I'll leave this ticking a little long, not too long, like that. And. We were gonna tie this with the string, so let's tie it with the string and then we'll figure out how to attach that. This is my hemp cord. Oh, this happened to me the last time. This thing is tangled. Oh, you yeah, bother. I don't know where the No, oh, this stinks. Sorry, guys. I found it, but I think like it's tangled and wrapping it around. Okay. The last time this happened to me, I had to take everything out. And I just have a big ball of stuff. Come on. Oh, bother. All right, we won't use that. Well, let me see if I can get another piece of string. I can never, ever find the openings. Can you guys find the openings on your thing? This one's too thick for my needle. Let's try. I think it is. It is. Heaven. It's Betsy. Give me a second. I'm, I'm just gonna save us time. Take the whole thing off and find it that way. Oy, 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 what a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the dupa. You know what dupa means? <laughs> dupa. Oh. Dupa means butt in Polish. My grandma used to say, I'm going to spank your dupa. <laughs> Come on. Okay, here we go. Alright. And then a needle. Put this through. Now that we did all that. Alright. So I'm just going to, um, that we're going to put on the side. This I'm going to take it off for the moment I'm going to come through I don't know if I'm going to come through the front or the back I think I'll go through the front no I'll do it in the back I'll make um I'll make like an X So I'm just going on a diagonal pattern and then I'm going to come back up on either, it's a diagonal pattern and I'm going to come back up on either side of this. So I'm going to come up there like that and let me pull this so that it's the end so I can tie it. And now I'm going to come back over the top and just like, I'm making an X. That's all I'm doing. So now there's an X on the front. And I'm going to turn it over and clip my hemp cord and then tie a knot on the back. So now it's all attached. Don't tie it too tight. 
Okay, there we go. Yay! And now I will attach this. And I'm thinking, I love it. Oh, look, the music paper needs to be attached. It didn't catch in there, so that's good. So I'm gonna staple it to the music paper. Mm. Or, well, the music paper has to stay. Yeah, I'm gonna staple it. I like it. That looks cute. And it's cute for a pocket. It's adorable. Maybe we'll even put a number. I have some numbers in blue here, too. That says 224. So, maybe we'll put 22. Put a 22 on there. And you can also put it in with a bread. I'm not going to do that yet. But you can put it in with a bread. I haven't been able to find the right the right document to do that with, the right little thing to do that with. Now, this ledger paper is fragile in the front, so I'm going to staple it to the page behind here, not to the ledger paper, like that. I like that one, that's cute. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can do. How about we take some laces, different kinds of laces, different colors, different pieces, or fabrics. And we put them on here too. Let's see how it's gonna look. It may not look, it may not come out the way I want. Let's see the way I'm, I'm envisioning it, or it may, you never know. Um, let's do a different color now. Maybe we'll just do a square. Like that. Yeah, like that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I need to take a sip. I'm talking too much. Boy, that's better. Okay. How about a piece of trim? Let me put this at the top. Hmm. Oh, I like it in the diamond pattern. That's pretty. And stamp over here. This is pretty. I've had this for so long. 2010. First, I have to see if I want to use it. If I can get it off this thing. Okay. That looks pretty. What else? I'll get these pip, these safety pins out of here. I should have taken a few out. There we go. How about a pearl? Ooh, I like the pearl. So I'm gonna... Safety pin all these on here. This one's. Oh, come on. There we go. All 
I'll try to close it without hurting myself. <laughs> there we go. And we'll straighten it out a little bit. It's got the pearl on there. I like that. That's cute. It's not so dangly. Maybe I need to find bigger clips. <clears throat> Let's see now. We can... We can sew this one on too. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if we took it and we sewed it like... Oh, this is that piece. Oh, we got to make this right. I wonder if it will hold up with the sewing. I don't know. It might not hold up with the sewing. I may just have to um, glue it. Let's glue this one. I don't think so because um, that's that paper from the 1800s. And I just got glue all over my hand. Okay. So let's see. I still have glue all over my hands, but rather than hold up production, I'm going to keep going. I'm just putting a tiny bit just to hold it in place. This way, if the person gets the, the little booklet or you put this in somebody's happy mail or whatever, <clears throat> They can use the stuff that's in here. They could take it apart. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There's glue. There's glue everywhere. Okay. And that didn't work out. And I'm just going to rip this off. Sometimes it might move with the glue. That's okay. Just put it right back in place until it dries. All right, so we'll put this down like that. And then I will glue this back here like this. I like that. It's a little... It's a little plain. Let us see. Should we put a stamp down? <clears throat> oh, maybe a number. Numbers are always good. Oh yeah, see? That does a lot. Well, that does a lot. Let me do that. Um, those, I have those little clips. <clears throat> my Leslie clips. Here we go. We'll use one of those. And we'll put it down here at the bottom. I like that. It gives it a little extra flair, touch, whatever. Pizzazz. <laughs> okay. How are we doing? We have 11 minutes left. Oh boy, I feel like I still didn't. I didn't get, well, the decorating part does take time. It's, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's not, it's not a quick process. Although, you can, you can do it in a quick process if you don't think. I, however, can't do it that way. I have to think. Um, I'm going to put this stamp here. Um, so the object is to kind of just play, but that's the whole that's the whole um, scenario, is to take out some fabrics and take, oh, this is pretty, take out some fabrics and take out some um, uh, little, little, little things, little, little pieces of ephemera that you have to cut up, you know, um, take out some old broken jewelry. Oh, that looks pretty. Take out some fabric that you stamp on. And take out some black and white photos. No. Um, 
and take out some cords some, some to sew with the, the hemp cord did I do all that did I say all that I'm being silly now yeah <laughs> just have fun take out some of your favorite things I don't want to use that and have fun do some silly little things that that maybe you would have never tried before like this I like that I mean that's how these came about I just was playing around and I made them just to be just to be kind of silly <laughs> um, I'm more I I I really only make uh, like tags and I never make these little things like this but I actually I like them I like them very much and I like this across the top I think I'm gonna do that I make the tags and I make the um, twisted tangles and I make journal cards I use a lot of fabric I love I love 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 fabric mixed with paper I've always loved that. That's been my favorite thing since I started crafting. Fabric and paper mixed together are like my favorite. So whatever I can do to mix fabric with paper together, I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, what else? Do we need a number? Nah, I don't like that. Let's see, the long one. No, I don't want to cover that. I like that just the way it is. Any bling bling? No, no. No, 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 let's not and say we did. Um, a pearl, another pearl. Or we can dangle another thing off there. Whoops, stay. Um, but you know what? I did, let's, here, so we did these. We have a few minutes left. Let me just, let me show you. We'll decorate some more of these. These were fun. We'll do a few of these. We'll see what we can get done. So I, I hope that inspired you to decorate. I mean, we can do more um, another time. I'll revisit it again another time. But I think you guys got, you pretty much, you got it. I have faith in you. You're my crafting buddies. You have learned well. And I know you will succeed in making them. I just know it. So I'm just going to do like a quick little collage on these little things I liked them the other day and, I, and you guys complimented them so you can make a few and all I'm really doing is using the scraps from when I made those that's all I'm doing and you can you know make them however you want let that dry and use some oh we never even used oh look at this i never even used this stuff look so you guys could like put that on there like that and maybe put a string on it you could put a string on it and tie it around it um i was gonna do that with you i'll show them in the pictures but what i'm gonna do is probably put a hole in there and use the hole reinforcer and then I'll put this around here like this and then tie a string maybe that's a good idea and then they can go in a pocket that's cute I like these they're so pretty all right my timer's gonna go off in a few minutes so let's let me finish these um, with you maybe we could use some of this on the, not this one. On the tag. We'll use some. We can even use a piece on here somewhere. Don't, don't be afraid. Just, just put down things and have fun. That's all. 
I think I should have put a piece of paper underneath because let me do that first. I'm getting ahead of myself because you can see. There we go. You can see the man manila in the back. There. Like that. And and you can cut. You can cut that off. You don't have to leave it hanging or dangling. Or you can leave it hanging and dangling. It doesn't matter. And then again, you guys can coffee dye these too. I think they look cute coffee dyed. And you can do the same things you were doing here. You could just do it small. So, put this down here in the corner. Just like that. Stay! <laughs> and, I mean... You can even put a number on there. You can still keep going, but I think that's good. So that's one. And then we'll do two. Um, let's see. Use this number. Because we like numbers. And I'm making a mess. As I do. As I do. I always make a mess. I still didn't finish cleaning my room. I need help. I mean, I don't need help cleaning it. I just need help in my head because I get sidetracked very easily. Mm -hmm. Put this at the bottom. It's like a little piece of blue. And then, let's see. Maybe a piece of, about a little, a little piece of embossed paper. Now, I just cascaded it all on there, but I'm going to turn it around and cut it. That's all. So that then it's all cleaned up. There we go. I like that. And you can add a piece of fabric or a piece of, piece of trim. Should we add a piece of polka dot? No, I like the, I like this. No, I don't want it. Okay, next. Next, we're moving on to the next. <laughs> There's so much scraps here, so I could probably go forever. I need to make um, some, probably some snippet rolls. That could be next. Let me know in the comments if you want me to refresh you. All my snippet rolls, you can make them if you want me to. I did do a video um, a long time ago, but my but my style has changed since then. I'll do this ledger paper, and we'll do this ledger paper is embossed. Mm, that's why. That's why I can't get it. Um, coffee dyed. Coffee dyed piece of paper. That's like, I like that. All right. And then this has some numbers on it with some embossing. So let's do that. No, it's going to take up all those words. Let's see. Well, that looks cute. And we'll just do that. Little babies. The little baby tags. <laughs> and you could glue it to the back if you wanted to. I'm not. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it like that. Oh, we have 14 seconds. The thing's going to go off. You guys could even, um, you know, put some... Oh, I like the trim. We could put trim on the bottom. Hold on. The timer's going to go off. I'm going to... Okay, that should have stopped it. I'm going to put this at the bottom. And I'm going to clear away. Move it over to the side. i got to cut. I, I went just a little bit too big. 
Um, of course, I'm going to make these not so white. I didn't do that first. And I'm going to cut this like that. All right. Now, we have lots to do. So I do, anyway. <laughs> you guys do, too. You have lots to do, too. You're going to have fun with this. I am... I know that you guys are going to make beautiful, beautiful little ephemera waterfalls. Whatever they are. Um, I know you're going to do well. Okay, there's one little tag. Here's another little tag. I like... You can even put a stamp on it. Let's do that. It's looking a little plain compared to the rest. Okay, I like that. Here's another one. And there's the string. Okay, now. Let's see the, what we made. We made this one. So pretty. We decorated this one. We decorated this one. We decorated this one. I like it. I like that little thing dangling there. Yeah? Um, we decorated this one. We decorated this one. Whoops. And we decorated this one. I like it. So we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pieces of decorated ephemera. Even though those are little, we still made ten pieces again. Ooh. <laughs> that means I have three. I have these three to decorate over here. Which, you know, I'm on a roll now. So, I mean, like, I could put this here and put that there. I can put this number down here. So you guys know. You just layer, layer your, layer your little pieces, layer your paper pieces, and stick it all together. And make it look pretty. <laughs> um, thank you so very much for joining me today. I will be posting this video, so I do have to go into town and post this video before it goes up. And um, and then I will be I will be back again with you for Merry Monday, Merry Monday, and we're going to be finishing our document holder on Merry Monday. Um, so thank you so very much. I'm so blessed. Um, uh, if you like the video, comment, like it, subscribe to my channel. That would help me out. I also have Instagram. I have an Etsy gift shop. I have, I, where I sell digitals and I sell supplies. I have a Facebook account and I have a TikTok. So I'll see you guys around. My crafting buddies have a beautiful weekend. I hope you could see all that and it wasn't, it was, it was in the right way. Bye for now.